Alright, so this is an iRepair P10 promo video. Uh, Union Repair sent me this box right here, and I couldn't really figure out how to use it, which um, which is why this uh, repair video is delayed, actually. <laughs> this is probably, I probably should have done this about uh, two months ago when they sent it to me, but uh, I got a little frustrated and I, I didn't really... Anyways, it was a little confusing to use, uh, but since then I have figured out how to use it and it actually works. Um, I just I just repaired an iPhone 8 Plus Wi-Fi with this thing, and it makes it really simple. Um, okay, so how does it work? Well, first thing you want to do is let's see. First thing you want to do is um, download the software. So let's just minimize this real quick. So I repair P10 download. Um, Best thing to do is just go to the actual iRepair box website to download your version of the P10 software. And it looks like it, I think the latest version is 2.6. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is, but okay. So iRepair P10. Um, download the English version software, install it, and it will bring up this thing right here, right? And um, I have an iPhone 7 here that is hooked up. Um, okay, so let's do this. Let's see. What do we want? It's supposed to kind of recognize it. There we go. Okay, so I just plugged it in. I think. Uh, I thought I figured out how to use this. <laughs> All right. Uh, apparently, I got to put it in duff mode. So I think in order to do this in duff mode, uh, let's see. I think I have to hold the bottom. This is an iPhone 7, so it's a little different than what I was doing before. But hold both buttons till it reboots. And then maybe release this for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I'm probably doing this wrong, man. <laughs> I'm probably doing this wrong. All right, now it's installing the device software, so maybe we're getting somewhere here. I probably should have like figured out how, uh, how to do this before I uh, started this video, or maybe I'll just edit it. So you definitely want to disable iTunes. You don't want iTunes running and this iRepair P10 software running at the same time, otherwise it's going to um, try to use the same port and then there's going to be a conflict. So it's installing the device driver now, so uh, let's see. So it's in recovery mode now, which I think is what we want, but. So I guess maybe I'll just talk a little bit about what this stupid thing does. Okay, so as you can see here, I've already like I already worked on something already, but basically what it does is you put the sucker in DFU mode. So DFU mode is the the black screen, and there's like a certain method of doing it, and it tells you how to do it on the screen right here, which I'll show you later. Um, recovery mode is when you see the little lightning cable connected to the um, iTunes uh, symbol. All right, so this has to be in DFU mode, not recovery mode. So once you put it in DFU mode, you click this button right here. It's gonna say, "Oh, okay, it's in DFU mode." You click this button, and it'll it'll actually put your phone into something called purple mode. All right, purple mode is basically like a is like a system configuration uh, mode where you can like read and write data from the device actually, and and the data that you see over here is the data that you can read and write. All right, and uh. And basically, it's got serial numbers for just about everything here, including the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, serial number. Let's see, and I believe the yeah. So this will, you know, if you wanted to like update the NAND, if you wanted to like increase the hard drive space on your iPhone, then you can read the NAND data, take the NAND chip off, 
uh, put another NAND chip on and then write it back on there so it'll work like new uh, with upgraded memory. All right. Um, this thing is still taking a little while, so I don't know why it's taking so long. So and it also allows you to unlock the Wi-Fi. So so with um, I think everything I think maybe from the 6s and up. Well, maybe wrong on this, but the the Wi-Fi chip is tied to the NAND. So in order to replace the Wi-Fi chip, you have to unbind the Wi-Fi address from from the NAND chip. All right, and generally before we had this tool, these tools. Um, the only way to do it would be to take the NAND chip off, put the NAND chip into a reader, unbind it, and then put the NAND chip back, and then replace the Wi-Fi. Which you know, as you can see, just replacing the Wi-Fi chip is kind of a pain that pain in the butt to do itself. But now replacing the NAND chip, uh, you know, just adds a whole another level of complexity to it, and which makes it really just not a worthwhile repair. But with this iRepair P10, you can. Um, Unbind the NAND without actually removing the chip. So uh, the only thing you really have to do with blue with a Wi-Fi problem is just take the chip off, put another one on, and and uh, it just makes it uh, it makes it. I I still feel like it's a pretty strenuous and and uh, long task, but uh, it's very doable, you know. And and um, you know it's just another repair that you can add to your to your arsenal. Um, Okay, I'm going to pause this real quick and see if I can get this thing up and running in DFU mode. Okay, so I decided to do this with an iPhone 8 instead. Um, as you can see, I plugged it in and it now it says normal mode, so it's so the driver is installed and it's connected fine now, okay. So, let's see, if I click on normal mode here, let's see what it does. It says calm failure, okay, that's fine. Uh, so, I'm going to put this in DFU mode now, alright, and in order to do this in DFU mode, you got to like... You gotta do up, up button, down button, hold the power button to reboot. And then as soon as, you, as soon as the screen goes dark, you want to hold the power button for five seconds. So that's like one, three, four, five, and then release the power button. And then just keep holding the down volume button until. Uh, it gets into DFU mode, which it has to install the driver again. So it's gonna take a little while. Maybe I'll pause it. Maybe I'll pause it. Yeah, as you can see, it's in DFU mode now. So uh, I'll pause it until it until the driver comes back up, and then I'll show you what it does. Okay, driver has been installed and. It says DFU model now. I think it means mode. Um, all right. So next step is to just click on DFU model, and now it's going to put this thing into into um, purple mode. And remember to make sure that your iTunes is uh, off. You know, I was getting this failure before as well, and I had to um, had to reboot my machine. So maybe I'll have to do it again. I don't know. It seems as though maybe the newer version or something like maybe a bug with it or something. I'm not exactly sure, but I definitely did not see this go into. Yeah, see, it says com failure. So I don't really have any other software open right now. So now it's in recovery mode now. <laughs> Pause. This is an awful um, promo video for this device. <laughs> okay, so here are the instructions on how to put your phone into DFU mode. Uh, let's see. So for an 8 and above, connect the data cable. Um, press the volume, increase, decrease, and then hold the power shutdown key do not loosen and then hold the down volume one two three four five and then release the uh, power button and keep holding the down button here okay so now we're in DFU mode 
click on DFU model and it's going to do its thing hopefully but I'm still getting a comp failure for some reason I don't know why it keeps doing that so if this thing works properly then this should go into purple mode which I don't really see it doing it right now for some reason Ugh. All right, let me reboot this thing. Well, actually, no, it's going now. Okay, here we go. You can't now. You can see it's in purple mode. See, that's considered purple mode. So it's different colors or different uh, iPhones. So this is purple mode, and then you can click on. Let's see, this is the software here. Let's see. Okay, so let's just say query info. Mother, ah, oh, come on, dude. It's like installing another thing again. <laughs> All right, I guess it has to install another driver. Oh my god. All right, I'll pause it until it finishes. Okay, so I had to unplug and replug a few times, but <clears throat> now you can see it's in purple mode. Click on query info. And it looked like it had to install a bunch of drivers and stuff like that, but now you can see that it's got all the data that you can read from the um, from the phone. All right. So if you want to replace the Wi-Fi, you can just click on Unlock Wi-Fi. That'll unbind the Wi-Fi from the NAND. And it's it's uh, pretty simple. It's just a simple click right here. I'm not gonna do it because I'm not that familiar with these things, and I don't know if unbinding it will do anything to the phone or not. I don't think it will. But um, and then let's see. And then if you, I guess, yeah, like I said, if you want to upgrade the NAND, you, you can just, um, you can say backup sysconfig. Uh, I, th I thought I was supposed to, okay, there you go. So, so it basically just backs up all this data to a text file. Uh, you can name it wh whatever you want. Um, so that'll save that data. Um, and... Mm, what else can you do with it? I think that's really about it. I don't know what else you would want to do with it. Um, but basically, you can modify any of these fields right here. Um, so, um, I think that's it, really. What is this? Turn off Japanese camera sound. Interesting. It's got a l lot of l random options here. I have no idea what these are, um, but you can back it up and then restore it, restore the data and then write it or something like that, and that'll that'll get you. So yeah, again, if you're doing the NAND, so I think it really it's mainly for like NAND repair or Wi-Fi repair. Um, I don't know what else you would do with this. Uh, maybe I'll try a hard drive upgrade at some point, see if that works with this thing. But anyways. Um, before you would have to take the NAND chip off, put the NAND chip into a reader, and then write it, and then put the NAND chip back. Um, this one, I guess, kind of saves a step, meaning like you don't have to. Some, because sometimes, like the NAND chip, you can't read the data off the NAND chip or something like that, you know. Um, so, anyways. Uh, I repair P10 purple mode, read and write iPhone data easily, um, and that's it right now. I'm I'm still I think there's a whole Facebook group dedicated to I repair P10, so you can try to join that. And uh, there's probably other things you can do on it, but I don't really know what they are right now. Uh, I don't really intend on doing a lot of these things. Uh, I'll probably I'll probably do some more Wi-Fi repairs, uh, which I just created a video on. But uh, So that's how you do it. Um, this box is I think like 180 bucks, maybe a little less than that at Union Repair. Uh, you might be able to find it on eBay as well, I'm not really sure. But here's the promo video for iRepair P10 from Union Repair. Thank you.